Hello friends and welcome to this crochet stitch along tutorial with me. My name is Garnet and I'm happy that you're here today. In this particular one we're going to do this dimensional looking pattern. Double crochets, chain, single crochet. Very simple pattern. One row repeat. I know everybody loves one row repeat. This is just that. And because of that one row repeat, let's flip it over. Wow, we have the same design. My intention for this is to make a scarf out of it, and I will have another video on how to make a hat and possibly fingerless gloves. But for this stitch along, I'm showing you the flat version. The multiples in this is a four. Okay, so you can make this a blanket. You can make it a pillow. You can make it a scarf. This is a flat version of this particular pattern. And I think you will really like it. You see the thickness to it? It feels so soft and cushiony. I know I'm gonna love wearing this this winter. So come join me as I show you how to make this super simple one row repeat dimensional stitch. Let's get started. The yarn that I'm going to use in this stitch along is made by Big Twist. The color is called Passion Flower. It is a size 4 yarn, but when you really look at it, it's more of a bulky 5. It recommends a 5.5 millimeter hook, but for this, to give the 3D illusion bigger, we're using a size 4 millimeter hook. Before I begin any project, I always like to pull the yarn out. I use the center. I find it easier to maneuver so that way if I didn't pull it from the outside, it would be doing this all the time. So in the center, I can lay it down and pull the yarn out as I need. So pull out an ample amount and let's get started. We're going to start with a short tail. We can use this to weave it in later. So let's place a slip knot on our hook. With our working yarn, we can go ahead and wrap it around our finger and let's proceed to chain. The multiples in this particular stitch is a multiple of four. And before we begin, I'd like to make a note of that you can make this as a scarf, a blanket, a pillow, anything that you would like. This is a flat version of this pattern. So as I start, I can count up to four and determine if that's how wide I want it. If I want it wider, I add another four stitches and I will keep adding four stitches until I get the desired width that I would like to have. So continue to do that if you have a project in mind. A scarf usually is about 30 stitches, so in this case about 32. After you have the width that you would like, chain three, and you'll notice that I pinched that last fourth stitch from before. So here we have one, two, three. So go back to that pinched one and place a double crochet. In that same space, add two more 
double crochet. We will have a total of three double crochet in each of our cluster spaces here. After we have our three, you'll notice here, here's a chain, and you can see that little line showing that's the end of the other chain. This is important on the first row, you don't want to skip that first chain. So here's one, two, three, and into our fourth one, come all the way over and make a single crochet. The one thing you're going to really like about this pattern is that it is a one row repeat. So after we have our single crochet, let's chain three, and in that same space, three double crochet. Now you'll notice that as I do my crocheting, I like to cover my stitch. This helps with the tension so that I can maintain the same size stitch as I go along. So let's skip one, two, three into the fourth chain, single crochet. Chain three, and in that same space, three double crochet. I like to show you one more time, and then depending on how wide you have chosen to make your project, you can continue to the end of the row like I'm going to. So here, you notice how full it is. Pull it back so you can see the chain where the stitches are. One, two, three, and in the fourth one. Now the chain foundation is only this row, so you won't have to worry about this. The next row you're going to say, oh, what a breeze. <laughs> so single crochet, chain three, three double crochets in the same stitch. Continue till you get to the end of your row, and you will end with a single crochet in your last chain. My single crochet is in the last chain, and this is what we have so far. Let's move on to our second row. So, like I said, this is a one row repeat. So we're gonna chain three, and this will begin our repeating row. You see the back side of our three double crochets. Count over to the third one and place a front post single crochet into that, that third double crochet. Okay, chain three. Now here's the chain that we did, the chain three from the previous row. On to that chain three, which is directly behind our double crochet, we're going to place three double crochets. One, two, and three. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Now right here's our single crochet from the previous row. We have one, two, three double crochets. So in that third one, front post, which means you'll be taking your hook, hook going down underneath the, the stitch and come up from the other side, pull your yarn through, and complete a single crochet, and chain three. And here's our chain three from our previous row, right behind that double crochet. Let's place three double crochets into that stitch, or our chain, I should say. <laughs> and this is what we have so far. Looks a little wavy. 
So here's our single crochet from our previous row. One, two, three, the back side of our double crochets. Let's do a front post on that third double crochet and then chain three. Okay, and then the chain three behind it. Let's go ahead and place three double crochet onto it. Now depending on how wide yours is, I would like for you to continue to the end of the row and I will meet you right here to show you how to finish this row. So on the very last of our three double crochet, go ahead and do your front post single crochet, chain three, and then onto that chain three, go ahead and do your three double crochet, I'm sorry I was out of the camera range a little bit. Okay, and then slide slide your work over just for this one. And then down here, we're going to skip to the very first chain. And we're going to place a single crochet. And that'll help finish our row. Then chain 3. Return your work. Okay, there's something else I want to point out to you. In mine, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So that means I should have six here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So every row will have six. And this will determine on how many chain fours that I did at the very beginning. If you have 12 of these uh, chain threes, then you should have 12 here on your second row. If you're making a blanket from this pattern, and say like you have mm, 30 or 40, then you should have 30 or 40. Whatever your first row is, is how many you should have on your continuing rows. Okay, so we got our chain three. Okay, we did our single crochet. So we're gonna skip these three double crochets and into that third double crochet. I guess I shouldn't say you're going to skip all three of them. You're going to skip two of them and into the third one let's place our single crochet. And do you see how the row is going to repeat itself? Now let's chain three. And in that chain three from the previous row let's place our three double crochets. Okay, so we have our single crochet here. We're going to skip that. Skip one, skip two double crochets into the third one, front post, single crochet. Now I have a feeling bells and whistles are going off for you right now, aren't they? <laughs> You're going to find this to be a very relaxing, very, very nice project uh, pattern to use when you are are doing it and to me it's a versatile prod, uh, pattern you could take it pretty much anywhere depending on the size of your project of course so here's our chain three in the back let's place our three whoops three double crochets I know I have a bad habit of pinching the bottom of mine but what it does is it helps eliminate losing stitch tension so if I pinch it I can maintain the proper tension for all my stitches. So we have three there. We skip our chain one, skip two double crochets, not chain one, our single crochet. <laughs> and then a front post single crochet on that third one, chain three. So I'm going to encourage you to do that until you get to this very last one. You'll see how we have this collection right here. That's okay, go ahead and do this last one, and I'll meet you there. 
All right, so here we are at the last one. So we're, we're going to skip the two double crochets and into the third one do the front post single crochet, chain three. Okay, now you'll notice we have two chain threes back here. We want the first one that's up here. And let's place our three double crochets in there. Okay, so we still have to pull this one down. So with that second chain three, we're just going to place a single crochet just around it, no particular one, just right into the chain, and then chain three. Okay, and you can see how it's starting to show a nice straight edge there. So let's turn our work. Can you see the pattern already? I think this will make an awesome blanket. Nice textured and depending on how soft your yarn is, especially a velvet yarn, this would be beautiful. Alright, so let's go on to row, let's see, one, two, three, well, let's, we're going to start row four. So we've changed chain three, okay, let's skip the three double crochets or the two double crochets and into the third one our front post and I think you have this pattern down pat now don't you this is one of those patterns that you just can't get out of your head because <laughs> it's so relaxing it's so enjoyable and I'm glad that uh, I had an opportunity to share this with you You'll see I did my front post, single crochet, chain three, and see how nice and straight our edge is. This is the flat version. I will show you a circular version here in another video where I plan to make a hat and some fingerless gloves. This is going to be my scarf. I have six across, so let me show you with my ruler how wide it is uh, it's seven inches wide I don't know if you can see this is one of those whoops <laughs> okay so here we go can you see my number seven so it's seven inches wide which to me is a good width you can use it as a cowl you can uh, I'm gonna make it as a scarf so I hope this pattern inspires you I'm gonna keep on going with this because I love it so thank you for joining me and I hope that you get inspired by this stitch just like I did I tried it with variegated the the dimension look gets lost into it but if you were to use like one row one color the next row another color so that your other color is peeking through the back here I think it would be cute just as cute as it could be so give it a try thanks for watching till next time bye bye